it's a bit dark here right now. Uh, the reason is because uh, I'm not going to show you uh, our new uh, LED bulb, uh, E27 LED bulb. Okay. Uh, as in the solar application, I mean, we have been uh, using this uh, E27 uh, compact fluorescent light for a very long time. And this one is always equipped with the uh, DIY kits. And uh, this is 18 watt 12V uh, has been around uh, for us to you know light up all the lighting application. And this is very affordable. And of course, uh, this is coming to the end of the light cycle is because uh, if you can see the brightness is very very good. And the only reason now. We feel that uh, this light need to be retired uh, is because uh, it consumes about 18 watts. Yeah, uh, a bulb like this is consume about 18 watt. And if if you know, few years back for a solar power application is considered a very efficient uh, kind of lighting. But of course, as all of you are aware, uh, this day we have the LED. And the improvement on LED is, uh, you know, I can say that it's like a quantum leap, and you can see that uh, you don't need an 18 watt just to light up, uh, you know, pro pro provide this kind of same lumen, yeah, or to light up the, the area, okay. Um, like I said just now, uh, we are retiring, the, retiring this uh, CFL uh, for our DIY kit. But uh, we still carry some stock uh, for the CFL light. But those who you know still want to use or interested to use, uh, yeah, you still can order from us for the time being. Yeah. So uh, today this video, I actually want to uh, introduce you to uh, you know two replacement LED bulb that we have. The first one actually is um, a three watt twelve V uh, LED bulb, and it's an E twenty seven. Uh, this one made of uh, the aluminium casing, yeah, aluminium uh, base casing, and if you want to open it up, uh, you can, okay. Uh, then you can see the uh, LED inside, okay. The reason they put in a frosted uh, casing on on uh, light casing here is because I think the brightness is very strong, so that's why you need a frosted frosted some sort of a, a diffuser, you know, to you know. To reflect the light so that you know it would not uh, blind you or something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in. Okay, and as you can see, um, the the brightness is actually uh, quite fantastic, and each uh, you know consume uh, only three watts. Yeah, three watts. All right. Compared to this, uh, uh, eighteen watts. You know, three to eighteen is quite a huge number. But of course, uh, let's say if you use this as you know a downlight, just shoot down here, okay, on this surface. Of course, you will find out the brightness uh, compared to this uh, will be almost the same, yeah. But if you need the light to be dispersed, you know, left, right, you know, 360 degree, of course the CFL will still uh, be the this three watt is because. The CFL here have the longer, you know, lighting. So the way they disperse the light is gonna be definitely gonna be more, yeah. So probably I can just show you again why it's gonna be more. All right. So because you know we have a longer tube, yeah. So you can see, oops, you can see it's gonna be more definitely, yeah. But of course when you shoot down, yeah, shoot down here. On the surface, uh, I would say they did the same. So it always depend on um, what kind of lighting application you want to do. But let's say if you install this all the, you know high up in the ceiling, uh, then it, let it shoot it down. Uh, you want know, to light up? I would say that uh, this is you know good enough, and it consume in three watts. And of course, this one is LED technology, and you do not need to worry about changing the light bulb. For a very very long time, yeah. And this one also run on 12V E27, yeah. I have removed the casing, but like I said it's um, very very bright, and it's better you know put the diffuser on, so that you know the the lighting are more adequate, yeah. 
But of course, uh, 3 watt versus 18, that is a huge uh, improvement for your, your solar light application. Yeah? You know, in other words, that means you can use a lot of pieces of this, yeah? just replace one piece of this. Yeah? So you have an option to you know, light up more places just instead of one. Yeah? But for example, you have the 50 watt DIY kit, always come with this. Uh, you know, maybe you just light up one. And you know the 50 watt solar panel uh, probably you know just good enough for one or two of these. But when you change to 3 watt, definitely you can light up few time more, yeah, few few, few more of this light, you know, somewhere else, and uh, it make it uh, very good for for lighting, yeah. But sometimes when we come to application that uh, maybe some few feel that I need stronger, yeah, I still need stronger or brighter light, yes, okay. So we do not stop here, just, just 3 watts, alright? Uh, the last one that we have is actually is the 5 watt, yeah? Uh, the 5 watt actually we don't use the frosted uh, uh, so-called casing or diffuser is because since you think the 3 watt is uh, you know, not bright enough or maybe you are crazily need very very bright so there's no point to put a diffuser you know, or frosted diffuser we just put a you know a nice casing all right okay this is 5 watt 12v uh 5 watt 12v okay and it's e27 yeah so you can just plug it okay all right so this one is definitely uh very very bright okay and the surface area and you know things are, are very it's larger yeah compared to the other all right so probably I'll give you some uh, lumens uh, formula okay um, this guy is actually is producing roughly about 350 lumen all right 350 lumen uh, is good enough for a lot of lighting application yeah all right let's say you have a hut in the middle of nowhere in the jungle or maybe a small house or some place you want to light up thing this is fantastic and of course it's run on LED technology and it's also very, very affordable. Check out our price uh, at our website at SCOMA, www.scomart.com and you will find out it's a very affordable kind of lighting and it will last forever, all right? Uh, this is 350 lumen, okay? This is, all right, 250 lumen, okay? All right, 250 lumen. Yeah, roughly about 250 Roman. Yeah, okay. Um, this one is also almost the same, but the only difference is when you shoot down, when you measure the Roman, you know, on below, it still give you a 250 Roman. But like I said just now, the surface area is larger, so the light is person on you know 360 degree. All right. So uh, although it's 300. Uh, uh, sorry, although it's 250 lumen, but the area of dispersed of light is, of course, larger. In other words, it's brighter. Yeah. So sometimes when we look at the spec, like how many lumen and things like that, we need to understand uh, how its application is. We can't just like look at the spec and you know say that this is brighter, this is better. No, actually, the application really need to know where, which is better when you really, you know, test it on the field. Okay. So. Um, Again, this one is also a very good um, to us. I think that let's say if you are in a remote area, since you are in a re remote area, uh, you know the a bit of light is considered a very good, you know, a luxury, and is considered a, you know very bright already. The three watt one is, I would say that, is fantastic. Uh, you can you know put it a lot in the DIY kit, and you can light up uh, a lot of places. But let's say you think the three watt is, it's not bright enough. You need maybe you have a big hole or something like that, big room. So go with the five. All right. Yeah. So okay. If you have more any question, you can you know drop us an email and give us a call. And this is it. The you know E twenty seven uh, LED light uh, light bulb to replace the CFL. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching our uh, channel.